Hey Ryan, this is Mitch. I'm just going to shoot you that quick video talking about how you can outrank your local competition to get some more jobs and more leads online. So whenever I click on your website here, I get brought to this landing page. And um, so I'm sure that you just haven't built out your website right, right now. So what I'll do is I'll take a look at three of your top competitors in your area and I'll give you three tips to beat them so that way you can outrank them and get more leads. So the three things that, they're, that we're gonna talk about are content, backlinks, and citations. So for content, Google likes to see about a thousand words of content on a homepage. That's just all these words that we can highlight. Um, they've got a little bit of content, but they'd be pretty easy to beat. A thousand words would definitely have them beat. They've got a little bit of content, but still a thousand words will have them beat easily. And Google can also read what you save your images as. So you want to make sure that you're saving your pictures. It's not going to let me save any of these. Uh, you want to make sure that you're saving your pictures as keyword intent phrases. We'll see if I can save. So Marble, Calcutta, Lincoln. I mean, that's good because it's talking about what it is. But you want to make sure that you're saving those as keyword intent phrases, and we'll go over those in a couple minutes. So then, um, this is for kitchen cabinets. Um, this is for a kitchen remodeling company, and this is just a back page for cabinets, but this is the top ranking page for cabinets in Austin. So they have a little bit of content on here, um, but still pretty easy to beat, um, even if you have a, a cabinet uh, service page. You just want to make sure that you have more words than them. So the next thing we're going to talk about are backlinks. So for that first website we looked at, the AAA countertops, um, <clears throat> you can see that they have 1,300 backlinks. Now all a backlink is, is a link from one website to another website. And when you link those websites, they're going to pass power back and forth. So not all backlinks are created equal. You want to make sure that you're going after those powerful backlinks. On Arif's, one of the paid tools that I use, they rank a website's power with DR and UR. So you wanna go after backlinks and try to get these two numbers here as close together as possible and as high as possible. And that's gonna give you a more powerful website and let you rank higher for those keywords that you put in that content on your pages. So they have a pretty decently powered website. Um, Granite Works Austin. Um, 225 backlinks um, and the good thing is, is we can actually go in and take a look and see where they're getting all of their backlinks from and go after those same links because if it put them on the first page of Google it'll put you on the first page of Google too you just want to go after those links too and then get more and then for the kitchen remodeling Austin uh, cabinets back page they don't have any backlinks coming in but they do have power from this main domain right here they're going to have backlinks going to this page, but since there are no backlinks going to the cabinets page, that means that this one would be, would be pretty easy to outrank. So to give you an idea of what all that um, backlinking will do, we'll just take a look at a few keywords real quick. So this column right here is going to be the search term on Google, and this column is going to be the average monthly search volume, and this column is the KD or the keyword difficulty. It just tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank for these uh, keywords. So we'll just narrow it down a little bit. And we'll just search just for the Austin keywords. So you can see here that Countertops Austin is searched on average 350 times a month. This company is sitting in the second position and they're getting an average of 156 clicks per month on their website just from that one keyword. Uh, Countertops Austin TX is 60 searches a month. They're in the first place. They have an 22 uh, people looking at their website from that link too. So these are all buyer intent leads. These are all people that are searching for countertops in Austin, searching for countertop installation in Austin. That's 90 people a month on average are looking for a countertop installation in Austin. And if you can get in the top three, you're going to start bringing in a lot of traffic from those leads or from those uh, 
searches, and you're going to turn those into buyer intent leads. So we'll take a quick peek over here at the um, cabinets. So Kitchen Cabinets Austin, 40 searches a month. Kitchen Cabinets Austin TX, 10 searches a month. So you can see that these are the keywords that you want to put into your content and save your pictures as. So the last thing we're going to talk about is citations. If I were to search Countertops Austin TX, I'm going to get this map pack that pops up right here. And it's going to have the top three businesses. Uh, and it, sometimes it will have one ad. But it's going to have the top three businesses for this map pack. And if you can get in that top three, it's a very powerful place to be. And the way that you get up here is you want to first make sure that you have your Google My Business completely optimized. So you want to have as many pictures as you can. You want to try to have more pictures than everyone else. Um, you can definitely add those over time and Google likes them saved 1024 megapixels by 1024 megapixels saved as those keyword intent phrases. They're also going to give you a spot right here for a 750 character description. They're not using even, uh, even maybe 50 characters right here. So you want to make sure that you have this part maxed out with all 750 ca uh, characters. And you also wanna put a couple of those keywords in there as well. You wanna have as many reviews as possible. Um, but that's something that you know you can definitely work on and I have a few other tricks for getting some reviews as well. After you have that completely optimized, you wanna go after citations, which are just name, address, and phone number listed on as many online directories as possible. Those are gonna be like Yellow Pages, uh, Hot Frog, there's hundreds that you've never, probably never heard of, and a lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you're going to be able to kill two birds with one stone and go after backlinks at the same time as you're going after citations to help you rank not only in the Google Map Pack, but also in the organic search rankings as well. If you have any questions about this or you need help implementing it or you even need help building out your website, Feel free to let me know. I'd be more than happy to jump on a phone call with you and take a little bit of a deeper dive into this.